I can't explain now. No time. I need to tell you in person. Saturday, 16th of March. Check it out. You will come, won't you? Bring papers and passports. Well, we, like, we believe in the power of art to, you know, obviously um, make a change in people, so they grow in confidence, they're able to speak, they, uh, you know, the way they hold themselves, the way they, where, how they feel in the world, who they are. And it's really important to us to work where there isn't a lot of art provision. So we've got our core team and we've got our core approach, which is imaginary communities, which we've developed. So I'm Samina and I've been uh, I'm the director for Escape Realms. This project, we've been working with young people um, in Rotherham and it's um, inspired by Escape Rooms and, um, and the young people work that we've worked with have worked with various artists, so writers, um, filmmakers and looking at multimedia um, and storytelling within this. Um, it's a promenade piece and it's an immer immersive performance. The process has been absolutely amazing. Um, I loved working with all the young people that we've been come, we've come across so far in all the different centres. Um, the highlights have been seeing children from different backgrounds coming together, working together and just getting on with it. I've worked with John a few times before, so I said yes, because I knew it was going to be a good project. <laughs> yeah. I think the highlights are that you get a good feeling from working with young people. It makes me feel like it's a worthwhile project. And I like helping young people kind of be more imaginative. I'm Jess and I have been working on the movement in the piece. We've been playing around with some different sort of like movements for the guards section at the beginning and then we've been doing some more sort of like looser movements that they can use for the end section. At John Theatre we work as equal playmakers, that is our main approach. Um, that means that everyone is on an equal playing field so everyone's ideas are valued and everyone's opinions and how everyone has creative input into Young people have been a big part of this project, um, from the writing to the design, the kind of filming that we're doing, um, and it's been a really exciting and um, intense project. Um, and yeah, looking forward to how the audience receive the performance. I think it works really well because I think it's quite gentle. I think we came in, we came into the youth club a few times to talk to people and just to get them interested and just to excite them really. And so that means we've had so much involvement from lots of different age groups and lots of different kinds of kids. And I think that's really lovely. And I think Chal does that really well, like mixing communities together. The unique point about the show is that we have been completely led by the ideas of the children. The ideas are completely generated. The children have completely generated all the ideas. Um, we didn't come in as artists and facilitators with anything apart from the underlying pin of the escape room idea. So everything is fed in from the young people. We've also worked with three centres that haven't had connections in this way before. So we have been working with different community groups and merging them together and getting them involved with each other as well, which has been very unique for working in this area. The performance is going to be absolutely amazing. Chol came in, they told us about the show. Uh, I really enjoyed the last one, so I'm looking forward to uh, for this. Okay, so I'm Caitlin Vaughan and I got involved in this project um, through Grim & Co. I enjoyed coming up with all the clues um, because it was really interesting. I really enjoyed um, seeing what it was like um, being in this particular kind of performance. Um, and this dancing project. There was, I just asked a girl, if um, a lady who's part of my place, if there's any dancing going on, so she told me about this one. This dance we've done a zombie dance, and uh, we just keep practicing until we're going to perform. I'm looking forward to see, to see this what what the people are going to say about us, and just to surprise them with some stuff. I did the trailer uh, for the start of the escape rooms. Is it that? <laughs> I'm really looking forward. How? Why is it important that we work with communities? I don't know. <laughs>
É... <risos> Please come back. Please.